minutes. And I will come back later after the films. Please show the films.
repeated memory of those many destinies shattered by war and injustice. It is impossible to remain spectator. So, it is impossible to remain a spectator. This is what I have seen. In six minutes, I'm trying to explain what I have seen in the world. But I'm not giving up. Because I know the power that we have, the power of the image, the power of photography, the power of humanity that we have. So how, as a one person, I could bring a change? This is the question I'm asking. One of the first ideas. Do you know who is the guy over there? People change. I had hairs. 1983, I started this project of the training refugees. As I became the photographer themselves. This is the first I did, 1983, in refugee camps in Peshawar, in, uh, in Pakistan, of Afghans, which trainings, and they're buying them cameras and telling them, okay, you go and you take pictures of what's happening there. 1983, we didn't have those kind of episodes that you have now, on the photography, of the techniques, uh, the magazine newspaper, the whole world was different. So, there was very few people that was able to take pictures. There was now everything's happening. Someone filming it. Everything's happening. Those times, no. So this was the beginning of what I start doing it, thinking that there is a lot of humanitarian organization. They make, they bring food. They make.